Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the video useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem using the concepts of dot product. So as per the problem, use the properties of the dot product to simplify each of the following expressions. So let's start with part A. So the first step is to distribute the vectors in the parentheses. So we'll use the FOIL method. So we'll multiply vector A by 2A and then we'll multiply A by minus 3B and then 5B by 2A and then 5B by negative 3B. So first we'll do A dot 2A and then we'll do minus a dot 3b and then we'll do 5b dot 2a and then we'll do 5b dot 3b and that'll be minus Now, in the first term, so we can move the 2 to the front. So in the second term, we can move the 3 to the front. And in the third term, we can multiply 5 by 2. And in the last term, we can multiply 5 by 3. Now, in the first term, we can use the magnitudes property of dot product. So, A dot A becomes equal to square of magnitude of A. Now, as per the commutative property of dot product, B dot A is equal to A dot B. And as per the magnitudes property, B dot B is equal to the square of magnitude of vector B. Now we can combine like terms. So negative 3a dot b plus 10a dot b is equal to 7a dot b. So we combine negative 3 with plus 10. So this should be the final answer for part A. Now we can analyze part B. So in part B, in the first part, we'll distribute 3x into the parentheses. So we get 3x dot x. Then we do 3x times negative 3y. So we get minus. 3x dot 3y now in the second part we'll distribute the terms in the parentheses so first we'll do x times minus 3x And then we'll do x dot y. And then we'll do minus 3y dot minus 3x. And then we'll do 
minus 3y dot y. Now we can simplify the terms. So in the first term, so x dot x can be written as the square of magnitude of vector x using the magnitudes property. In the second term, we can multiply the threes. Now we can simplify the terms in the parentheses. So in the first part, we can move the negative three to the front. In the next term, we can multiply negative three by negative three. And in the last term, we can use the magnitudes property for dot product. So we write it as the square of the magnitude of vector y. Now we can simplify the terms in the parentheses. So x dot x can be written as the square of magnitude of x. Now as per the commutative property of dot product, y dot x can be written as x dot y. Now we can combine like terms in the parentheses. So x dot y plus 9x dot y is equal to 10x dot y. Now we can get rid of the parentheses and we should distribute the negative sign into the parentheses. So we'll multiply each term in the parentheses by negative one and that will change the sign of each term in the parentheses. So the first term will become positive. The next one will become negative. And the last one will become positive. Now we can combine like terms. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, the coefficients of square of magnitude of x. Now for x dot y, we should do negative 9 minus 10, which is equal to negative 19. And then we are left with 3 square of magnitude y. So this should be the final answer for part B. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it, and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.